What is good, YouTube? Shout out to anybody Yo. clicking on the video. Today, we got some good questions going down. A good, fun discussion on a Friday. Chapter 1023 was hype. And we're here just to talk about some One Piece greatness. I got my man's Neji and Snow Kage over here in the bar. And you know what it is. It's just going down. Let's get it. Let's get it. Also... Yeah. Ram, I am going to go with Touchy and the, the, the Neji D Usopp. I do like that a lot, <laughs> lot better. That look, that's dope. I like it. For both of my Neji favorite, Usopp on the YouTubes. Bro, both of my favorite characters coming into the one, you know. But, uh. Yeah, that question you asked me, um, who I think Hitetsu is. Yes. Hitetsu and Odin's father in the anime have the same voice actors. So I think it's pretty obvious that Odin's father's still alive. It was not. Yeah. It was so sketchy about his death. There's no information, and it's like, why else would this guy hide his face in the middle of the woods when he just lives with a child? Facts, hundred percent, hundred percent. Second, second, since we're talking about non-real death, do you think Toki is a hundred percent dead? Yeah, uh, Oda confirmed her death at like thirty-six in the. S recent SBS, but uh, so I don't know. I mean, I I, I think she's food? probably dead. So where do you think her fruit is in Wano? Do you think somebody grabbed that bit? No, I think she probably because her fruit is damn near one of the top fruits in in all of One Piece for real. I mean, yeah, her said. her fruit. I don't think her fruit would come back into play in the story. I think her fruit would be gone in the wind in time. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I think I think if anything, that devil fruit would go somewhere else in time. Like, you know what I'm saying? I think there would be an asterisk to it. It's not just going to spawn. It's not going to be an average devil fruit to spawn to the next apple tree, you know, that's like right near that's right in Curry, you know what I'm saying? Right next to Odin's castle. I don't think I think it would have been found by now, you know? Like Especially with the way Orochi is, like he was hunting down Tama for that devil fruit she had. You know what I'm saying? If there, there, there is the uh, Toki's devil fruit, like talk going around. That th that thing would have been his. That thing is just non-existent. Yeah, I I don't think so. Yeah. So Ram and Luffy, who is your favorite straw hat for? Besides Luffy, I mean, you can't. I said no, yeah, not the cat. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm also right just past the time skip. I'm also not where y'all are at, so... I mean, it's, still right now, it's hard not it's being biased, bro. It's hard it not is. being biased with the recent chapter. I want to say <laughs> Zoro, but... I don't know, man. I think I, I would have to go with Brook, you know? Brook, Soul King, legend. Dude, like, not even gonna lie, his entrance back... Ooh, in, he's legendary, bro. Legendary, bro. <laughs> he just straight up gets fame, money, all of it. Yeah, my God, this. So like, <laughs> and and obviously, there's the theory going around Ram. So I think I heard it earlier. So uh, yeah, yeah. So we there's a theory going around that people think Brook is Alkiji's grandfather. Now the timeline would would add up. So Brooke would have to have his Alkiji's dad in his twenties or like by twenty. Yeah, but I mean, I no mean, dude, Brooke's Brooke uh, looks Brooke no, in his old no. when he had flesh looks just like Alkiji. They both like black. clearly it black and have similar. afros. Yes, and there's no way Brooke You're didn't black. didn't didn't get some pussy back in his day. He we know he's a fiend for pure pure reason. Oh, boy. Pablo was out there grinding. Yeah, for sure, yeah. he was out. And you know what I'm saying? He was down bad, and he slipped up. It is what it is. He left for the sea so he wouldn't have to pay that child support. You know well, and, he and, also... And, and, <laughs> he left for the seas for left. But for wait, left. he and also he was a... Again, never talked about Yo, Brooke about also was a ro like a royal guard for a kingdom. So there's no way when he was in his service being a guard of the kingdom, the king wasn't letting him get pussy. There's no way they nope. they weren't feeding them women and food and beer. There's just like no way. You know what I'm saying? So I can see that theory being true. You heard it first. If this goes down, Ram, we're all goaded. 
Kage, who was your who who was your favorite Straw Hat? I mean, it definitely so has to be Zoro at this moment. That's 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 lit. I can see. I can definitely see. You why. should go I mean, read ten twenty three. Yeah. Of course, mine. Of course, mine is Usopp. Of yeah, mine. Usopp's in my Usopp's in my top three. I, can I hate on him for a minute? Like he is no. definitely in my lower ranks of my straw. I, I think I have Nico Robin. So can I kind of report that for you? Uh, <laughs> he's not ready, yo. He's are. not ready for. He's not ready for Dress Rosa. You're look, not ready. From where you are right now, is that what makes him a god? Yeah, you'll learn. Yeah, look, you'll learn. Look, from where you are right now, man. One v one. I'm not going to down everybody versus uh, except for Luffy. One look, think back at it. Except except for Luffy and the Captain of Curry of the Curry Pirates, everybody else one v one them. As long as they they was ten times stronger than them, whatever one v one them. You do understand, Arlong Park. Arlong Park, he yo he pulled up and defeated Fish Man. Alabasta, he beat two 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 numbers at once. I'm not but, knocking his strength. Hey, wait, wait, hold up, hold up. Thriller like Bark, he was the only one who could compete. <laughs> With Sean Perona, Mark, he, the he only the one, only one that can get him out of that situation where they was done for. Done for. Literally. He's clutch. He is understand. that guy. All right. Don't disrespect Usopp. He should be in your top five. He's not. He, so. he will be. Three. He will be. He, he, dress, well, at, once you're done with Dress Rosa, we're gonna see. My man is a god for a reason. <laughs> Dude, literally, yeah, a fucking god. god, a god. They don't gods out here. And Sniper King? We still don't even know where he found oh, Sniper oh, stop, King. Stop. Sniper King's definitely up there, but he's not a straw hat. That's not even saying <laughs> Vivi's not a straw hat, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, the next, the next, the next, the next. Sniper King, Sniper, Sniper King's that guy. Sniper so, so, so. Out of, out, of, out of all the characters y'all have seen before, who do you, except for Jimbei, uh, spoiler alert, uh, Snow Kage, he is a straw hat. <laughs> who do y'all think the next two straw hats will be out of everybody we have seen so far? Oh, well, know. let's just, can I just reiterate one oh, thing? Bon Clay, Bon Clay. I think, yeah, I, think I, I agree, I agree. Bon, bon, bon Clay will come back in the story and probably be a straw hat, but... But Vivi is still a Straw Hat member, so she's. I want to see her make her reappearance. I think after Wano, she definitely will rejoin the crew. Um, I, I, I like the theory you had too about I, how she rejoined and what happened. Definitely. I also think there should be more women on the crew. It's just right now Nami and Robin, and Isn't it would that be. One carrot girl supposed she, to be. She she's been around, but she's not an official member. I have no idea who that is, by the way. Like I yeah. said, I, would, I just got past the time skip. She's so. a bunny, and her name is Carrot. I've yeah, seen the bunny ears. And yeah. Name. That's about it. I don't know. What. So but I like, think after Wano, know. a lot of women are going to be joining. VV, Carrot, Yamato, Tama, and Momonosuke. So so wait, so you so you don't think Momonosuke is going to be the Shogun of Wano? No, because he's a child. Oh, so you think he's going to age back somehow? No. I think Hitetsu is going to reveal himself to be Odin's father, and he is going to take the Shogun title for enough time for Momonosuke to, one, go with the Straw Hats, to learn how to read and write the Poneglyphs, and learn the sword, uh, learn, like, you know what I'm saying, be a, a student of the sword to Zoro, and Ooh. learning how to be a leader from Luffy. I think there's a lot of there's a lot of things he can go and learn on the Straw Hat crew that he needs to develop to become the Shogun of Wano. Because right now he would be, you know, yeah, he He's would be the, he could be the Shogun. Yeah, he can stay, but I think it'd be a waste of his potential as a character and you know his growth of what he can become if he comes with the Straw Hats, dude. He's gonna be. So, hey, dude, so that's, that's, it's that's, going to be huge for his development. That goes to Laugh Tale. That's the final roster that goes to Laugh Tale. I think he's going to go to Laugh Tale with them. Because I think he's going to read Odin's journal. He already has. He's going to read Odin's journal. And he's going to realize that he has needs to know more answers. He can't just stay in Wano and be restrictive. He has to go and find out the truth of the world. So, so Tama. Tama. She's going to get aged up. She's gonna get aged up too. Yeah, hundred percent. 
Ooh. When she finds out what happened to Momo, on the on everything, she's gonna run to Shinobu for it, and Shinobu can't say no. At this point, she already did to one person. She's got to do to everybody. It's like taking out <laughs> like a fucking gum pack in class. Like you know, what I'm saying. That's a, that's a nice final roster that goes to uh, that goes to laugh till. I'm not gonna lie. It'd be a pretty good. It'd be a, it'd be a very good crew because it'd be like the most like uh, split between genders. Like there'd be enough a decent amount of women and obviously the powerhouse <laughs> men, and then Chopper. You know, what I'm saying, and I think. Why Carrot has to join? Not only because she's been around a while, but she makes diversity. she it's even to give that that final dream. But it, she um, also makes know. Chopper not look like a pet. That's why Chopper <laughs> wants her to join the crew because it's right now he's just still a pet. They don't think of him as a doctor or a combatant. <laughs> but like, dude, if they had if he. Like, once they have, like, the fi- fishmen, like, Jinbei and Carrot officially on the crew, I think they would g- actually give respect to Chopper. But if they don't, Oda is just violating him. Absolutely. I, see, within that regard, I honestly don't believe Tama or Mononusuke will join. I think Yamato will join. I don't think Carrot will join either. I mean, I do think Carrot will join. I think they find you don't their think... last... My bad, I interrupt you. Sorry. No, go ahead. But, uh, no, I was saying, I, I think they find a last crew member in Elba. I think their last crew member will be a giant. Just to have that diversity, that, that last dream goes to Laugh Tale. Or is the third. Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think, because the giant wouldn't fit on the, the Sunny. Hey, but we have seen one, though. Yeah. That could, and they lit. Yeah, but... And we, we do. I think I all right, dude. Well, here's the thing. Look at the parallels between. Or do you think that that, or do you think they save that for the Grand Fleet, like the the diversity? The the Grand Fleet is where the diver, real diversity is. You know, what I'm saying because they can have every anyone and anyone join because they're all self proclaimed, you know, followers. Right. So it really right. wouldn't matter. But yo, here's the parallels between Luffy and Roger. The Sky Pia moment when they're pointing up to the sky. That's just one obvious one. But there's going to be another big parallel between Luffy and Roger. And Luffy has to have two cabin boys. Tama and Momo. Yeah, they, they will be adults, but they'll have ch- minds of childs. You know what I'm saying? So it would fit the description. And they have like, everything to learn there. And like they wouldn't be real combatants. Even though Momo is realistically going to be a fucking powerhouse, bro. A powerhouse. So 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 Ram and Luffy, do you think do you think Captain Smoker will ever be a straw hat? Fuck no. Or is that or he is would that join the great. He would. Uh, I mean, he could, he he'll join in on the final be, battle. He'll serious. he'll split off from the Marines. He's probably in sword. So I think Smoker is destined to be kind of like Garb's role to. Uh, to the king to Gold B Roger. No. So that brings me to our next question. That would be Kobe, dude. I think if anything, that would be Kobe. Oh, okay. That makes more sense, actually. Smoker, Smoker is just going to be like... He's going to be a, he's gonna be an admiral. I think Smoker will be an admiral by the end of the story. The admiral level. But... <coughs> Where do you see Kobe at? Rear admiral or admiral right with him? He'd be the fleet admiral. <laughs> he can become the fleet admiral after Luffy takes down the world government with his father. Yeah, I mean, sword is sword is gonna take over the world government once the corrupt side is defeated, and then Garp, Colby, Smoker, um, I think Alkiji's in sword. Uh, are, are we are we Drake. ever gonna get Colby versus Luffy officially? Well, even Garp and Gold. Do you think Colby has it in him to try to protect the? All right, all right, all right. Yo, yo, wait, wait. Maybe. We might get that, Neji, just because. Think of it. Right now, Colby is going up against Boa Hancock, one of the strongest people in the verse. Arguably, like, top three strongest women. I mean, besides Big Mom, who the fuck can beat Boa? You literally can't touch her or you're going to, you're going to get to turn to stone. Yeah, yeah, so I think he'll get a huge hockey bloom, and I think he actually will defeat her. Oh, do you think all seven, all the warlords will be defeated after this? 
No, Buggy. Buggy is Buggy is going to be re remain undefeated. Mihawk will probably get away. Weevil probably is captured based off why Marco's in Wano. Like he's not protecting Whitebeard's home village anymore. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> who else is it, dude? I mean, who else is uh, it? That's for? probably it, really. Uh, Law. It? But he's been re revoked. Uh, who's the new ones? Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I, think, I don't think the seven should be... Uh, should, whatever it is. The seven fucking uh, warlords. I don't know if like all seven of them are like in duty. I think it'd just be like four, right? But, hey, hey, Ram, with, with the amount of luck that you've seen uh, Buggy with, do you think he can make it to Emperor status? Yes. Well, Emperor, oh, I don't know I don't know what Emperor's are. I, I haven't been introduced to that. You, well, with all the information we've gained you, he's grown to even a warlord. Do you think his yeah, luck will keep I think it'd be good. Yeah. Hey, who do you think who do you think could be a warlord though in the new world after this whole balance is shook? Not warlord, um, emperor. Mm -hmm. I think Buggy. Uh, I think Bu I think Oda would do it for Buggy just to troll the community. I think Crocodile could make a return. Are you thinking he could be the um, the new uh, Joker of the underground um, drug right. smuggling and weapon smuggling ring? I think Kid, and then Law. I, 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 it's tough. It's tough because Law I, I really doesn't say, give a I, fuck. I would say, we'll go, I would say we'll, it will be, after the, after Wano there will be five emperors. You know, they have Shanks, Blackbeard, Luffy, obviously, Buggy. But I don't I don't see Kid or Law actually being that emperor level after this. To be honest, to be hundred percent, their crews isn't infamous. You know, the, their crews is is really a bunch of. Is really a one hitter. Everybody got that one man. Every everybody else is fodder, fodder. Yeah, that's not enough for emperor food. Well, dude, know? all right. After one of, if kid really goes at Big Mom and damages her, and like I mean, really damages her, he could get a lot of new people on his crew because, and same with Law. I think this is after Wano. It'd be the best time for them to start recruiting new people. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. But ah, new people. Me, you mean the worst generation? Shit, my bad. You good? You said new people, as in the worst generation? No, I would just say they're infamy. Like they're they're gonna be so infamous that there's gonna be people wanting to join their crew, dude. Like there's no way after this war they're not gonna get strong new um, people trying to be on their crew. I mean they're gonna definitely bolster the ranks because Law and Kid shat their pants when they saw Jimbei joining the Straw Hats, <laughs> and they're they're gonna be intimidated because they all want the One Piece and they're like. This isn't hacking it, dude. Like, if we went up against the Straw Hats, we'd f get fucked up. So, they're going to probably have to get new people in. I think everybody else knows. Except, except like, the Blackbeard, the, the Red Hairs. I think everybody knows that they go against the Straw Hats. They're fucked. They've been wreaking havoc all throughout the world. Like, literally. Well, I mean, everybody who wanted to defeat them, with, ultimately. With Luffy, uh, like, understanding and, like, unlocking Advanced Conquerors, bro. Like, dude, who the, dude, no one... Base form Luffy can knock out a lot of people. Law might be the only one that might not be able to get hit just because of his OP uh, power. Shabble. Yeah. But then again, it's like, he can't do anything to Luffy in his room anymore because his Conqueror is way too strong, like Big Moms and Kaidos. So, 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 Ram and Luffy, do y'all do think an Impel Down art and Marine Fort, if... Luffy had at least one or two other straw hats. How, how do y'all think that would have went down? Depending and, on depending on the and, two. And, and, and yeah. Who, yeah, that that first first we get to that. Who two straw hats would y'all have with them? Uh, Sanji and Zoro. Like that's. Or or yeah, it would be or it'd be Zoro. Zoro and Robin. It's so, like someone really like Robin could do a lot of a lot of Robin. work in Impel Down. She'd be great in Impel Down, invading that. Like, figuring out this and that. But, you know, he really needs a combatant. He can't 
bring Nami and Usopp or Chopper. Be dead weight. Straight dead weight. Chopper actually probably would have been good. How many times he'd been injured in that in, in that whole in that whole impel down and Marine Corps? Yeah, no, no. I mean, yeah, Chopper Chopper would have been useful, but like there would have been no one like you'd have to have someone strong to like you know fight to be off honest, whoever. At that point, at that point, I would rather have Sanji than Zoro. Just because Zoro is kind of just like a big head, like the fucking says, he's not gonna really. Sanji would have been uh, on point thinking, you know. Zoro just would have been out there fighting, trying to fight Mihawk, to be honest. Hmm. I think I don't think so. I. I think he would have known that he still couldn't beat Mihawk, and I think he would have ignored him. Nah, man, nah, nah. The moment he would have, uh, nah, this Hold is the up. man who was trying to beat him. The moment he seen him after the training, it was, it's game on. They, no. I think both of them knew it, knows it. I don't know about after it's the training. It's their tra- game after they know the training. I don't know about after the training. After the training, dude, Zoro still needs a hockey bloom, and he needs a master advanced conquerors. So, I think he's, I think he's still not ready for Mihawk. I don't think he's Ooh. ready. I do unless so is, that, so, so is Oda ever going to give us that duel? I mean, dude, what oh, if no. what if we have a second impel down arc, bro? What if Mihawk gets kidnapped, not kidnapped, but captured, and like you know, and so does Boa, and they bring them to impel down, and it's like this time they're really going to bring it at impel down, all the straw hats. So fi- oh. so it'll be a good full circle moment where in the middle of impel, the beginning of impel down, the first time. Just Luffy, he couldn't do shit. Next, next impel down. The Straw Hats, like dude, Zoro will kill. Zoro will kill Magellan in a heartbeat. So, so say, say, say the um, a uh, laugh tail is at the bottom of, in his lobby. You think the Straw Hats would actually go there three times? And he's lobby. Not, not in his lobby. Impel down. Do you think that they're, they're actually go back to it? Well, here's the thing. Yeah, because it's. Mary Jawa is up here, impaled down, and then Eni's lobby. It's a triangle. So, and then you can only get through, like, to areas because of, uh, like, all those areas are blocked off. So it's like, yeah, you'd, you'd have to, you know, go through one of them to get to the next, in theory. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it would, it would make sense <laughs> for them to go to impaled down, break a bunch of people out, and, you know, free a bunch of people. And then fucking, you know what I'm saying? Go and get the One Piece. That'd be Max. sick. Max. Because, you know, Where there's no I- way. If, if Mihawk's captured, there's no way Zoro willingly is just going to be like, yeah, you know what? I don't need to battle him. I'm the world's strongest swordsman. He's locked up. He's a bum. What'd it do? Like, there's no way he's going to take that. You know? Like, he would... Have, and if Boa... Boa... And if Luffy found out Boa... And if Sanji found out Bo was an impel down, shh. <laughs> bro, no, no love for Buggy, huh? If he was an impel down, no coming to you. I mean, dude, I think Shanks must have known Buggy was an impel down. Didn't do shit. Like, dude, Shanks, he, Shanks. dude, he, can all agree. he's going, he's going and talking to freaking the five elder stars, and he can't get Buggy out of impel down. I find that to be bullshit. He's small degree. He, he, he's also bullshit. Yeah, he's a fraud. Ram, on, on a scale of one to ten, how much? How, on a scale of one to ten, how high was uh, Ace being the asshole after he got freed? Who? Ace. Yeah, Ace is an idiot. After, after he got freed, how much yeah. of an asshole he was he actually being? A ten, bro. He threw, dude. His he threw away his his fucking father's dying wish, just to keep up his name. It's like, dude, why wouldn't Ace be running away and be like, "Yeah, I remember that pussy. You're gonna, you're gonna get that later." Like, I'll, see, dude, like he's just, yeah, like yeah, you know, what I'm saying really that's funny. what I would have done if I was running away in that situation. I've been like, "Yo, bro, I'm gonna get you back, and I'm gonna, you're gonna regret those words one day." Like, like that should have been the moment when he became a man. Like everybody has that point when they're a kid or something that they get their mm-hmm. ass kicked and they run home and tell dad. <laughs> like, yeah. he <laughs> right. like, like he should have went. Posted, like he should have posted. Like he should have posted up behind white people. I'll be back, bitch. <laughs> nah, dude, it, it, I, I, I honestly believe like uh, the white beard part was with some hoes at that point. Like nigga, not like 
Y'all been traveling the seas for like y'all must have died together for but real. Even at like, that point, people. Marco should have just flew over there, and picked his ass up, I'm like nah, motherfucker, you we getting out of so here. Like that wouldn't go happen. What? Like, that Wait, who? Like the white beard. Is it white beard? Yeah. Oh, dude, white beard was already white beard was already dead yeah. at that point for the most white part, dude. He's trying Marco to make a final I stand. Saying, I was saying Marco should have went and just scooped Ace's ass Ooh, up. Ace up. Oh yeah. Yeah, no, dude, it doesn't yeah, make it doesn't make it doesn't make, <laughs> it doesn't make it doesn't make it doesn't make any fucking sense. Why fucking Ace threw his life away? I thought it was stupid. I he really did throw I, it away. That's a really good way to put it. Like threw after it After watching the Cold War, after your emotions had changed about three like, dude, times. Like, dude, so many people, so many people threw their lives away just to get you out of there. Whitebeard is dying because of this bullshit. He's he's throwing his life away, making one big like grand speech, which was the epitome of hype. Hearing him scream, "The One Piece." It does exist, dude. That gave me goosebumps, bro. But Ace threw it away, threw all that shit away like a spoiled little brat. Like, come on, bro. Like, we 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 really should have seen him, Sabo, and uh, Luffy have a good reunion. Like, Oda took that from us. I I feel like they should have went at the end of One Piece. Should have went back to Dan Dan, and had that great moment right there. But uh. So this is the big question I've been uh, I've been trying to uh, hit hit to. How do y'all feel about the dynamic that Garp was in during the whole Marine Ford arc? Like, okay, so I thought... like, you I'll like let you go because I need a beer. Like he's justified by just taking the punches as they go. Do you feel like? So I was sitting there the whole time watching Garp, thinking, how can this motherfucker just let this shit happen? And uh, then, and then at the very end, he did get up to do something, and Sengoku just clapped him down. And it's like, but you dude, know, Garp wasn't fighting Sengoku; like he wasn't going to really try to get. He up let to Sengoku do that. Like he, yeah, Sengoku yeah, only yeah, did that because yeah. Garp allowed it. Yes, but and at the same time, yeah, I agree with that one hundred percent. And I believe Garp was letting a lot happen because he knew, because Garp knew himself what he would do if he got up. Yeah, he'd murder. He'd murder our kind exactly. of... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, absolutely murder. So him. I, I give I give him a lot more credit for that. At but the end. But I was really hating on him hard. The <laughs> hard. Just the only so all right. I, I wasn't really hating or loving it. I was just really feeling for him. Like you, like especially when they hit the flashbacks right in between. Like oh, you. It was you. You really tried to try to avoid this at all costs for real. You here's the here's saying? the thing. A but lot at of the same people. Time, San Goku could have been cool and been like, hey man. Don't gotta be here for this. <laughs> he did. He did say that. <laughs> he's like, no, you know, he didn't even say it like that. He's like, I don't remember calling for you. Like, what the fuck are you doing? But yo, honestly, honestly, guys, think of it like this. Right now, there isn't much of a justifiable answer that lets Garp off the hook. For what? For him just letting Ace die, and you know what I'm saying, like just not helping, just doing nothing, just doing his job. Now, the only thing that's going to make sense, that's going to tie everything together, that is going to make everyone feel for Garp even more, is that if he is the leader of S.W.O.R.D. Because if he, the only reason why he didn't fight back from Sengoku, he didn't stop, I think, I think stop by Kaino, is because he has bigger plans in the works that he can't throw away, yeah. even for Ace's life. And that, yeah, dude, really? and, and S.W.O.R.D.'s whole goal most likely is to overthrow the corrupt government and make the marines what they should be and you know what i'm saying completely restructure it but you know if garp goes to jail the whole thing's over the whole thing's done with and he's been doing this for decades he's been avoiding the fleet admiral position every chance he get because he can't let anyone that like, he can't he can't do that because he's Way too deep on the other side of trying to throw, overthrow the world government. Like, do you think? Do you think Garp could have took the uh, the three um, three admirals? Yes. At the same time. Oh, at, at the, the same, same time, time, no, oh no, no. no. Maybe in his, no. not even in, not even in his prime, dude. That would have been just they could have they were just too much Logia devil fruits. Yeah, those, those devil fruits are just so. So they're just too dude. much to spam, dude. But I think Garp Garp would fuck up all of them. 1v1. Oh, both, yeah. uh, bo you know what I'm saying? Both of them in their primes. You know, it doesn't matter. Garp, Garp would single-handedly break their face. I'm not talking about in the primes. You know the primes. He would have he would have ragged out. I'm talking about I think, yeah, out. dude, I think, I think, I think an old Garp probably would kill Akainu. Like, dude, in that moment, dude, like, he probably would have killed Akainu. With a, such a, with a, 
with a like a sucker punch from absolute hell just raining down on him, bro. Like, do y'all think that, do y'all think anything would have changed if it was Luffy right there and Ace trying to save Luffy? Do do y'all think Garp Roll would have changed right there? No, I think he would have. I think he would have let them bite the dust regardless. Yeah, I think I think Sora's objective is too big to let your fi- your emotions get into play. It's for the great honest, it's for the greater good of the world, like like type of mindset. So I think Garp it, one would have been a fraud and let it happen. I don't I don't think he would have let that happen. I but think, I mean, dude, I, I think, don't know. So we can t- we can tell that Garp doesn't have future sight based off that scene. So if he had future sight, maybe he would have stopped. Uh, kind of. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Well, he probably just got conquerors and arming it. He definitely, he definitely has both for sure. But future sight, he he probably never need it because no one is gonna be able to push him back besides Roger, and maybe Sengoku, and then dude, he's just gonna be running through people, dude. So he probably had no need, dude, because he didn't care. Like he could just knock people the fuck out. But yeah, dude, if he's not in sword. Then not, nothing justifies his actions in Marine Ford, you know. I just—I was just I sad. It's not play. undisputable, but it's <laughs> who else would it be, you know? Exactly. Especially when he started crying. It was sad. It was sad. I'm definitely when I rewatch it or reread it, I definitely will cry on a lot of parts. But the—I think the best part of Marine Ford is the fact the world's greatest swordsman. Couldn't scratch Buggy D Clown. Goaded. <laughs> goaded. You know he's goaded. Stop. You goated. know he's goaded. And, he's and, goated. and dude, his backstory, everyone finding out that he is on the Pirate King ship, we were like, <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> he's going to be an influence one day. Don't doubt. Don't, don't, don't ever doubt Buggy. He keep rising. Definitely keep rising. Dude, yeah. 100%. I mean, dude, I think Buggy. If anyone has a chance to be the emperor with his luck, I mean, he, he probably will be. Or he'll be like a king of some, like, uh, what's it called? Some king country. of some country, dude. He'll just get some cute ass wife. So, for the people, you know, all the, all, damn near, all the Black Bear Pirates are getting devil fruits, damn near. We damn near know that. Do y'all think anybody on this straw hats that don't currently have devil fruits will get one? I'm sorry. What'd you say? I said we know that damn near all the Black Bear Pirates is getting devil fruit. Do y'all yeah. think anybody on the straw hat that don't has a devil fruit is gonna get one in the future? I, I can uh, let me name off the people that probably won't that I think one hundred percent won't get a devil fruit. Sanji, Zoro, Frankie, Jimbei, and it goes up in the air. Because, and I could throw Nami in there because realistically, Nami already has the the climb attack, which uh, has been infused with Zeus's soul. Spoiler, and uh, oh shit, yeah. So um, I don't even think you know who Zeus is. <laughs> I don't know who Zeus is, but I know Greek mythology. Well, no, no. It's oh, Zeus, yeah. Zeus, Zeus is just a cloud that Big Mom made, and. Yeah, dude. Yeah, so, she has, you know, Big she Mom, Big Mom's soul devil soul fruit, fruit is soul manipulation. So she can take parts of her soul and put it into anything, and it'll come alive. Not anything, but so, it, like things so that aren't alive. Is her devil fruit and Brook devil fruit from the same model? No, no. But it, it's well, like no. in the same. It's in the same category of soul manipulation. So, yeah, so that one girl that can create ghosts. That's so the same category as that, right? No, no, I don't think so. Um, but, uh, peta, peta. <laughs> yeah. yeah peta, peta. Corona. I Corona, think yeah. Corona. But I honestly, I think... I think she just had the ghost ghost fruit, to be All right. honest. Here's the thing. If anyone's going to get a devil fruit in the story, I think it'd be Usopp. I, I think, think Usopp, Usopp... I think Usopp really needs a upgrade. A huge I upgrade. I would benefit the most. I think it was be a top of I think why, he could why? benefit from like a Zoan. <laughs> Realistically, because he does not have fighting ago, strength, like hand to hand combat. Long ago, the, they implemented um, inanimate objects eating devil fruits and then never brought it back. I think, I think that was put up just for Usopp, really. Or or Zoro, dude. What if Kaido dies and Zoro puts 
Kaido's devil fruit in his Enma. Oh, stop playing. Uh, <laughs> well, what if what if what you're saying with the other straw hat? Is it VB? Yeah. yeah. No, v- Everyone v- wanted VB to get the freaking snow snow fruit, the Monet's. What if she comes back with the devil fruit? Like <laughs> I mean, I don't know anything of the story. I don't know if she's already... I mean, dude, dude, you'll see in Punk Hazard, but everyone wanted oh, gotcha. VV to get Monet's devil fruit, the snow snow fruit. Oh, the Logia? Oh, Yeah, right. the snow Logia. That would have been sick. A, a snow Logia princess in a desert kingdom. It makes snow whenever. That'd and be then, sick. Then, but then, but then... then just heat it up to make more precipitation. Too. Nah, yeah, but at the same time, people also it's want weird. Carrot to get Monet's devil fruit so she can legit be a snow bunny. Yeah. <laughs> I that's, am... That's just perverted. I think Carrot should be actually... I think she should be part of the Straw Hat crew when this is all done. I don't think she should be a background character. I, don't, I think she, she should does, join too because she won... She, she does have a role on the... Because, you know, think about it. Everyone on the on the ship has a role. And Carrot is going to be like... Carrot's the only one that can jump up that fast to be the lookout. She's a great lookout, you know? Hey, hey it ain't much, but she's doing her part. And I want to see her and her furry ass the, um, on the crew. The log rider. Yamato might be the log rider. She Frankie's definitely will be. Jinbei, Jinbei is obviously the helmsman. Yeah, yeah. And obviously... Momo and Tama would just be the apprentices. So I like that last. Dude. How many? How many are you think they're going to end with? How many straw hats? Um. Well, no. Luffy says in the beginning of the story at least ten, but you know it's He's not specific. Right it's not specific. I mean, they're at ten now. Yeah. Well, not yeah, Luffy. They're... Luffy's not considered considering oh, himself. Not. Oh, I got you. So I'm at nine. So yeah, Jinbei is the tenth. Of <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, I thought he was the eleventh. But, but like, you know, what I'm saying, I'd, I'd, I'd rather see. I'd rather just see the apprentice. A new member for like two hundred episodes, three hundred episodes. Two hundred, dude. Yeah, longer than that. Yeah. Bro, what do you mean, dude? It's in the nine. It's in the nine hundreds when Jinbei finally it's about joins. Five, it's about five hundred episodes. <laughs> no shit. Wow. Yeah, dude, yeah, dude. Bad. Jinbei, Jinbei doesn't officially join until Wano, like, like right until before like, the raid until starts. Like two episodes ago. <laughs> two, three episodes. Ago. Yeah, literally, wow. dude. You're fucking. You're gonna wait. <laughs> It was, so, it, was so, it was so amazing. I would rather you just watch that real quick, watch them two, three. It was really amazing. It was it was beyond amazing. Dude, I really liked I really liked the that episode after where they're like going up into the castle and it's wicked trippy. Feels like someone who was doing drugs made that episode. Oh, oh yeah, when it was just going black, green, red. I was yeah. like, oh my god, dude. And then Luffy, it. dude, it just it it was sick, <laughs> sick animations. One was gonna be the best. One was gonna be the best arc. Facts, facts. I was gonna take me to my next one. What what is your best arc so far? You know, not 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 Sam Marine for it because obviously that might be the number one banger. Yeah, I mean, the best arc, I mean, it really depends on what you're asking, because if you're looking for just a straight banger, yeah, Marine Ford is the best arc, but if you're looking for what, storytelling, like, art-wise, like, plot... What's your favorite storytelling arc? That's that more, more I could say. I mean, it's hard, because I look at a lot of arcs, like, Jaya Skypea are conjoined, Water 7, Any's Lobby, conjoined, Impel yeah, Down, that's... Marine Ford, conjoined, like, uh... Punk Hazard and um, uh, Dress Rosa. No, because Punk Hazard sets off like for, Punk Hazard solution? and then Ford is all setting up to Wano. You know, so I, that's a hard one. But I mean, this those, those main three. I mean, I don't know. I would probably say it's it's tough, man. It's a it's a tough be- between Any's Lobby and Water Seven. Or Water Seven to Indy's Lobby, and Giant Skypea, like both. I'd probably go with I'd probably go with Water Seven and Indy's Lobby. But if you're really gonna look at the story as a whole, then Skypea foreshadowed everything in the story right there. Well, Skypea, you know, Skypea is my favorite art. Or uh, ever since I uh, watched it the first time, I knew it. Hit. Yeah, just off the culmination of the four hundred years and. The ringing the bell and the whole yeah you know everything. I I'd go with Skypea if I had to like uh, 
but have any uh, any played. arc reanimated, bro? To current Wano animations, I'd pick Skypea. But as an Usopp fan, I would have to obviously say Ennis Lobby and uh, Water Seven. <laughs> Cause it, it, dude, it's hard, Usopp bro. It's hard. Water game Seven and his lobby was just like, dude, from Alabasta for, and then like you know you have Thriller Bark in between, but pretty much everything besides Thriller Bark bangers, bro. Like, so oh, oh. I, I still say the Thriller Bark was about. I, I, I like Thriller, Thriller Bark. Bark. I I like Thriller it's Bark. Really I just don't think it just executed was executed properly. It just didn't feel. Thriller Bark actually has one of my funniest moments I ever seen in One Piece in it. I'm not gonna lie. Well, when Luffy that's put, when he, Luffy puts the zombie. yeah, <laughs> put the zombie back in the yeah. ground. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I just don't feel like movie. the state. I don't, I don't know. I just I just don't think Moria was a good villain. I think Moria was very I do too. I did. I'm unintimidating. Sure. I thought he's just a fucking. I think, yeah, I think he was. He was. I think his character as a whole just wasn't it, dude. Was you know. Time. Well, I mean, I mean, even Doflamingo called his ass out in Marine Four. <laughs> like, you, we all know you're the weakest warlord. We all know you don't deserve this rank. <laughs> yeah, dude. I, I mean, Dofi tried to kill, tried to kill uh, Moria, and the reason why Moria, <laughs> what's it called, escaped like in the blink of the eye is because Marine Ford was at night in the manga, and uh, Moria's shadow fruit, like you can disappear if it's nighttime. You can just disappear into the darkness like that. Blink of the eye. Which is really, uh, really strange. But. So is he Paramecia, right? He's yeah. A Paramecia, right? Yeah, he's a Paramecia. Out of all three of them, what do you think? What do you think is the strongest one? And which one would you be? Would you be a Logia, Paramecia, or a Zoan? Um. Depends on which one. It would definitely be a Logia or a Zoan, but mm-hmm. it depends on which one. It depends. Like, really, it depends what you really are looking for. Uh, an right. ancient, an ancient or mythical Zoan, I think, is the best to have in the story, because of one, the durability, the sp- and the crazy strength you get from an ancient Zoan. But a mythical Zoan, you get all of that, and then plus a special ability. So I would probably go with a mythical, mythical Zoan. I'd, I'd, I would pick, if I had to pick one devil fruit, I would either pick, no, I'd probably pick Marcos. I'd like Marcos the best. Marcos. Even though Kaido's is lit, I, I, Marcos, I'd pick Marco for sure. To be honest, out of all of One Piece, if I would have had one, literally just one shot, I would get Bartholomew's Mule's Berry, Berry fruit. fruit. That's a wicked OP. Mm-hmm. That's a wicked OP devil fruit. <laughs> You cannot get into it. As long as your fingers crossed, you're literally untouchable. Yeah. And you can attack in it. Even so. NL's Devil Fruit, dude. I would take NL's. That'd be oh, probably oh, my oh, favorite. Oh, that'd be... That'd, that'd do it for, all right. Just in... All right. For the Zoans, Marco's Devil Fruit, Logia, NL's, and then Paramecia. Oh, man. That's I'm, tough. Both out of me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, that's a good... That's I mean, that's a really good one, but... I mean, how could you not want Whitebeard's Quake Quake Trump. fruit? Yeah. That's... You know? Like the Tremor fruit. Because of, because well, even Blackbeard's Dark Dark fruit, dude. Like, that's, that's a Logia. That's a Logia. Oh, it's a lo- oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You're talking about Paramecia. Yeah, yeah, my bad. If you go against Luffy, Luffy could literally just 1v1 you with that, with that Quake Quake fruit. If he had an awakened, awakened uh, devil fruit. Oh, yeah. Because it's going to infect the environment. And the env- if the environment can't break up, like he could even do it to the air. Maybe he could rubberize the air, dude. So there is, like if I had to, I don't know. how well, how would he combat in the dark dark fruit from Blackbeard, to be honest? How would uh, he like I mean he's gonna have to be it's gonna have to be some like red hawk attack. But yo, think about it. what's a good what's another really good paramecia? Um a couple of well, them. I would what, take would, what would the uh I mean, because like I know he, there's somebody with it. I think it'd be the Admiral, like the Gravity Fruit. Oh, yeah, oh, that is a Paramecia. Yeah. Fuji's. Yeah, that yeah, would that's probably a... be OP as shit if he used it right, or if he was able to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, that is OP. I just like, Gravity is such a mystery. <laughs> like we don't really know the bounds of it, and you could literally do so much with Gravity. Like you could fuck shit up. 
They yeah. should be OP as hell. Or Hawkins. Hawkins got a good pair of Mishia too. The small man fruit. They give him extra lives. Yeah, but thing. Hawkins. The thing, weird thing about Hawkins is that his Devil Fruit sucks, but his Terra cards are really where he where his power is, because his yeah. his straw his straw Devil Fruit is just purely for extra lives and, and then like yeah. some uh, offensive attack power, but he doesn't really use it like that. <clears throat> and in yeah, his car and his cards also affect his Devil Fruit. It's just weird. It, Hawkins, we need we need more about Hawkins and his power. But, I mean, realistically, I would like, I'd probably take kids, uh, Paramecia, the Jiki Jiki, no me. Oh, yeah. Because, dude, if you, because over here where we're at in our world, <laughs> dude, you, if you went to a city, bro, you'd be a god. Oh. You'd be a fucking god. What the like, You got, like, Magneto status right there. <laughs> and, like, no bullets could, no, no oh. bullets could get you, bro. Like, you could make a magnetic field around you that, like, just repels everything. Like, dude. Even Law, Law might have one of the Yeah, oh, dude, I forgot that's a Paramecia, dude. Damn, yeah, I'd, I would take Law's Devil Fruit then. Law's lit. Law's come with extra little side effects, too. It ain't just a room in shambles. But even, like, even, um... What's it called? That, um... The fucking, what's it called? The, that bitch in uh, Dress Rosa that can see everything. Like oh, that, the... Um... Fiona, uh, Claire Boyle, yeah, Claire, Claire, something like that. Yeah, that'd be anyway, yeah. And what is it like whoever she touches type stuff or something no, like she that? She can see anything anywhere within four thousand kilometers. Oh yeah, she she's OP. She's OP. Yeah, dude. I mean, shit. The, yeah, dude. If I had to build, if I had to build my own crew and I could pick yeah. ten devil fruits, I that would be one of them that I'd pick. My favorite Logia is uh, Magellan's, though. No, that's a Paramecia, bro. Oh, he's not a Logia? Yeah, no. no that's a no, Paramecia. That is a Paramecia. Right. It just looks... Wow. It's just as strong he, as a Logia. He might has the strongest he just, they're, they're able to generate so much of, like, the poison that it looks and mim mimics. Oh, yeah. He might have the, strong, he might have the strongest Paramecia, to be honest. The, the guy that generates mucus. Yeah, he. You know what? I will agree with you. He does. He oh, definitely does it the strongest dude. paramecia, because dude, if he, awesome. dude, if he like could do it where he could have like a, an SMG with a hundred round clip, he could just shoot people, dude. One bullet's gonna kill people, you know, like, and then plus is hey, like, awesome. his Tydra, his the Hydra form he has. That thing's insane, dude. The dude, um, the dude in Alabasta from uh, the Bur Bur Woke Works, the Bomb Man. He has a he has an underrated Devil Fruit. Oh, he he wasn't using his right at all. Anything on your body can be a bomb, and he was just flicking bo boogers at people. Like, come on now, <laughs> you could do better. <laughs> be better. Just be better. <laughs> you don't usually got a right? Oh my god. I mean, he could be cool and just blast loads at people, blow them up. <laughs> <laughs> he was, he uh, was another so young fucked. underused uh, character. Totally even, my, even my man, um, what's his name? The Swamp Swamp dude. He he got he got, he has a good Logia too. I'm pretty sure that's a Paramecia, dude. How is he a Paramecia? No, I think the Swamp Guy is. I think that's a Logia. It's a water-based. Yeah, thing. I think he's a Logia, dude. I'd have to look that up. It's no way. I know, know the Mucus guy, though. He's also a Paramecia. That gets confused. Well, I can't never remember his name. I can remember a lot of names. Never is. Oh, it is a Logia type for... What the fuck? It's so stupid. Oh, yeah. El the element of swamp. <laughs> dude, alright, dude, alright. Think of it like this, dude. Imagine if someone wicked strong actually got that devil fruit and it wasn't just a fodder side character. Like, whatever his name is. Actually, I should know this. I, I forget. That's what I like. That's like when I said the, the bomb bomb man fruit from Alabaster. Like, he has the he has the most underrated, <laughs> underused. Yeah, but that's like... Uh, that's like a, but in Alabasta and in Dress Rosa, you see Oda, 
showing weaker devil fruits and then superior devil fruits in dress rosa like we saw a superior version of all of those like baby five has a superior devil fruit to mr two um okay. the the bomb guy that could turn anything into like his whole body into very uh other bombs that that yeah like way 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 more uh what's it called uh, way uh, more intense oh, bombs not. I did not see that parallel. That was, that's actually lit. Now, yeah, dude, if you wouldn't go back and see it, dude, all the devil fruits are just like, like at first I was kind of mad at it because I was like, oh, these are really recycled. Then I like realized I was like, no, I would have made the ones in Dress Rosa better. They're like trying to show how there are certain devil fruits that are baseline and then there's superior devil fruits. You know, like Monet's devil fruit is inferior to Alkiji's ice devil fruit. You know, just yeah. like that, that kind of is superior to Ace. Ace. Right. And right. Ace right. is superior to Ovens. That's just heat. You know what I'm saying? That is weird. How? How? Like, Dude, Big Mom's, <laughs> all Big Mom's devil fruits are so lame. Like, all her no, kids' devil fruits no, are no, lame. No, actually, the book book fruit is actually lit. That's that's just, that shouldn't be a real. That's just prison. It's just a prison devil that's fruit. Lit. I, I cannot wait to see that guy get his ass beat and all those mythical creatures get freed. That is get like what I've been cool. waiting for, bro. <laughs> he's, he's lit. I'm not going to lie. All right. Uh, yeah, everybody everybody else is, except Katakuri is kind of trash. Except Perisparo. I like the candy candy fruit. Yeah, Perisparo. Is the swim swim fruit? Ash, ash, yeah, ash, 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 <laughs> yo, he asked if there's a swim swim fruit, bro. Oh, Fucking uh, oh, senior, senior pink. pink, senior pink, bro. Wait till you see guy, senior pink, no, dude. No hate on you. Better dude, not. No you better not hate on senior <laughs> pink, bro. Dude, just wait, dude. Senior pink is the man, and you're gonna think he's a certified clown, and then you're gonna see his backstory, and you're gonna cry. Literally, he's he's the epitome of Oda's writing, where he could take anybody and make him. Just like Cortisone. Cortisone is like literally one of my favorite characters in the whole show. Hey, hey. Just no, no, no. I think, really like I think you need to put respect on that dog's name that was in uh, the buggy the buggy arc. Oh, where his, about, where uh, the shop uh, owner died Shushu. and he was guarding that Shushu. thing. Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah, I think you need to put some respect on its name, all right? You know oh, saying? definitely. Like that, 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 just right there too is like... That's a sadder uh, backstory than Attack on Titan. <laughs> To the main main freaking uh, character. <laughs> it's lit. It's, it's left. Jeff. Even uh, what's his name? Um, what's the toy? The toy soldier name? Um. Oh fucking. Chronos. Uh, Chronos. Chronos was lit too. Like that whole dynamic with him and his daughter was. Dude, that was wicked sad. And can we can we can we acknowledge that Luffy has holes throughout the One Piece? Oh, every 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 <laughs> island. <laughs> Every, every kingdom, island. every kingdom. Every there's a princess island. that wants his dick, that long every, rubbery dick. They gonna yeah. learn today what the fucking stretch is. And he has hold of every kingdom, dude. On God, I mean, dude, he has the most beautiful woman of the world on the tip, waiting to give him dome, <laughs> and he's not oh, taking right. it because he wants Usopp. Oh, stop playing. <laughs> stop playing. <laughs> we all... He wants that dark meat, homie. <laughs> we... Fuck out of here. Uh, y'all we... think, think Luffy will have a kid? Think, I, don't think, I don't think Oda will ever address who the who the uh, is. Uh, uh, hey, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait, wait, wait. Let me speak. Luffy is going to impregnate Nami. Why? Because it's a perfect parallel to Roger with his big titty red headed freaking girl. It's going uh, down. It's going down. Uh, I think Nami and Sanji gonna hook up. Zoro, I mean I mean Roger. Yeah, Come on, come on. Sanji ain't getting no pussy, bro. He's a virgin no, he the rest of his eat. life. He was on He's getting pudding. He's getting he pudding, on, He's getting he pudding at like, most. Yo, Listen to the conversation between her and Na her, him and Nami in a uh, whole cake island. She has feelings for my dog. She's gonna let him clap them cheeks eventually. Yeah, she's not let gonna let him. Yeah, hey, hey, hold up, hold up. Laugh tail is gonna be clap tail. Hold up, hold up, hold up. There's a difference between a girl letting him clap the cheeks and letting letting him cream pie and have a kid. And you know Luffy's got that status to get that. Luffy's Sanji gonna is gonna be the one who raises him. On God. 
It's gonna be good. That's yeah. That's the type of simp. That's the type of simp Sanji is, and that's what's going down, bro. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Child name is gonna be Boofy. <laughs> it's not playing with my dog. Uh, two piece nah. with Boofy <laughs> is the main character. Hey, at, the, at, the, at the end, at the end of one piece, Boofy, Boofy can it, uh, 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 kill like uh, Roger. He just says Zoro has it. Find him. <laughs> Only Zoro knows where to get it. Lost piece. It's gonna be lost piece after this. No, it'll be done piece. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. But for real, out of all. Like- out of all the devil fruits, what is the one devil fruit that you would eat? Out of all of them? Out of all I of them. know for a fact the rumble rumble fruit. I would eat that. Quick as shit. No, rumble, that, the rumble okay. rumble? They, uh, yeah, and those. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't say that, to be honest. I'm. Because if you're a Logia and you go out of the new world and you go to one of the four blues you're god you go anywhere you're god well not even if you're in the new world you will find people with hockey that can hit you but besides i'm talking about that it's like it's just the fact that always have you always gonna have a charged phone my guy (laughs) yeah (laughs) to be honest i might have um sakuzini's what his name is uh kind of yeah it is the most that is the strongest uh attack uh i mean i i want i want the Fucking clear, clear fruit. <laughs> oh, he trying to, he trying to peep. <laughs> yeah. He trying to peep. Yeah, it yeah. is OP too. That is OP in his own yeah, way. That, dude, that, that fruit right could now. never get into a rapist's hands, bro. They would just be causing the most ridiculous <laughs> police reports. But, but does that, does the clear, clear fruit have any effect on people that can make and feel like the hockey around them? Like you know, no. That's a good no, one, no, it's not. It could, it's already been proved in the. It's already been proved in the. The anime, not the anime, the, the manga. Sanji, used his raid suit and spoiler went invisible, and he got past Queen but and King would, and freed Momo. So the the that, invisibility dude does not come into play. You have to have a pretty high level observation hockey, probably future sight to actually see what's about to happen. So, I think it. I think invisibility can go past. The average senses and observation hockey you probably need future sight, you know. What if you have the What if you have the costumes like, like um, uh, Espa from a, uh, or or like uh, Kobe? What if you have that type of conqueror? I don't think it'd matter. I think uh, the invi- I think the invisibility is just like, like do think we've only seen it twice, with Absalom, and then, you know. The fucking person who gets it next, and then Sanji with his raid suit. So I think it's like the the rarest shit that isn't gonna be affected. You know what I'm saying? Because only like two people are gonna have it. So I think it's gonna be only meant for people with the highest level of future sight to be able to see it coming. How 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 would that fight transpire with Zoro and Shiru and Sanji and um um what's his name the champion? Uh, well Sanji would fuck up uh. Uh, hey, Burgess, 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 you'd fuck up Burgess. Uh, Sabo okay. already fucked up Burgess, and Sabo would get fucked up by Sanji. Has, but I mean, dude, here's the thing. I think Zoro has a really good, a really good observation hockey, because when he's pulling up to the raid on Onigashima, he smells booze out of nowhere. Like, dude, little things like that. His booze. Yeah, he just knows what he wants. And even, even back, even back in Alabasta, when Smoker went to hit him in the face with a sea stone, he blocked it with his sword. Like, dude, he has a clean observation hockey that just isn't awakened and isn't really fully exposed. Even when my man Kawamatsu threw his sword at him, he just reflected it off the thing. Yeah, hey, he's, he definitely got dude, it. Yeah, he, he definitely has it. it. I definitely think. The monster trio of the uh, Straw Hats, all of them have all three hockeys. I think it, unless we find out that Sanji's mom really was a Lunatarian, then then like the fire would make sense because I think it's advanced advanced uh, conquerors to a certain I degree. I think it's conquerors. I, th- I think I think Straw Hats has four f- future conqueror users. I think Usopp will eventually have conquerors, bro. It is no, it's no way. There's no way he shouldn't. 
Yeah, one, it, once he like gets over his insecurities and he w- becomes a brave warrior of the sea, he could have conquerors. There's this is no way he shouldn't. Because he has he has he, he he has one of the strongest observations for sure. It, it, not not strongest future sight, but his shit letting him see pinpoint people through things and oh like his shit is his shit is op as fuck. Yeah. Yo, do you have any uh, more questions? Uh, so we're at like an hour probably, right now, so I was thinking probably for like part two. My phone's actually about to die right now. Shit. <laughs> yeah, we can. That, do... was that was a good one, though. We can we can definitely get part two in though. All right, guys, this is part one of the OP discussion uh, podcast. You know, it's just a random topic we just wanted to have, and drop any comments. If you enjoyed it, like, subscribe. We appreciate you. Have a great night.